Hi peas, welcome to another Finally Friday. I'm excited to do another card with you today. We're gonna go ahead and start off with a white card base and we're gonna use some new fun products. I just got this, um, it's called Summer Fresh, the paper pad by Simple Stories and they just came out, the whole line just came out and I really love the vintage um, colors but they're bright and colorful and they really do remind me of summertime so I thought it would be fun to make a summer card and we're going to be using most of the products from this line but we're going to start off with our card base and I've already pre-cut out some of our papers I chose this red gingham for the background of the card so we're just going to adhere it right to our card base like that and then I've cut a piece of this floral it's kind of it reminds me of denim but it's got some flowers on it and I cut it slightly smaller than the red gingham and we're just gonna put it right in the middle of our card just like that all right it's already starting to remind me of Brennan's my husband's grandma's house, it, these colors really remind me of her home and the decorations she has. So we're going to use another product that's from the Summer Fresh um, line. And it is called, oh no, I wonder if I took off the... Anyway, these are the bingo sheets. Um, it's got different kinds on there, and I think I already cut off the name. But I'm going to pin it at the bottom so you can go down and find them at Two Piece in a Bucket. Um, they're really fun. I've already used them for a couple different cards. The one I chose today says, let me grab it here. I've already cut it out. It says Smile, and I loved the, the pale blue. I thought it really matched nicely with our paper. And these all go with the paper since they're from the same line. But that's the one I decided to go with. So I've already cut it out and I'm just going to use some foam adhesive and I'm not making it a, a card that will fit an envelope. I'm just kind of making it pop off the car off the top of the card. So I'll show you how I'm going to set it up. Oh, that one didn't work. Take off the back. And I'm just going to make it pop off the top of my card, just right there, leave it like that. Oh, and I, f I forgot I was going to put another piece of paper on behind this. In the back, of this is the, the coolest paper pad. In the back, it's not just paper. They have, well, they have little cutout tags you can use and like sayings. They just have tons of them in there that match perfectly. And they also have half sheets. Oh, they also have these borders. Um, but they have these half sheets like this where it's three inches by six inches of a different um, paper style. And I really liked this one with the chevron print with all the different patterns in it. So I thought we could use that today. And I totally forgot before we put that bingo card on, but we can pull it off really quickly. But I'm just going to cut this out. And I'm actually going to cut it down a little bit because I don't want to use the whole thing. It will take up too much room on the card. So I'm just going to quickly cut it out with my handy dandy paper cutter. And I'm just going to make it like two inches wide. I think that's good enough. I still want some of that newsprint um, background and I got to see which way. Okay, this is the way that it faces. So I'm going to slide it under and just kind of, this is another trick because I'm kind of lazy sometimes and I don't want to measure everything. I just kind of use my fingernail to mark off how short that paper is where I want to cut it. And then I can find it with my paper, with my paper cutter. Just kind of a lazy way to cut paper. Anyway, see, it works great. <laughs> so we're just going to adhere this to our card. Alright, and now we're going to add some fun decorations. 
They have these fun stickers for the Summer Fresh line. Um, the Simple Stories. And I just think they're so great. Obviously, they go right with the paper and all the embellishments. And I really loved this little wagon right here with the flowers coming out of it. And I thought it went well with the papers. So we're going to pull that one off. And again, we're going to use more foam adhesive. I think I go through this stuff like crazy. But again, this isn't a card that I'm going to stick in an envelope. This is one that would be on top of a package. And that's what I do sometimes when I have a card that won't fit into an envelope. I just get a plain bag and I stick it in so that this part's going inside the bag and this part is hanging over um, the edge so you can see it and it just dresses up the bag and everybody can see the fun card and it's just a fun way to decorate to show off your card and plus you don't have to have an envelope which is always nice. So I'm just going to place my wagon. I kind of want it, I don't want it right in the center. I think I just want to kind of make it look like it's kind of rolling away. I'm just going to put it on there. That, how does that look? Looks good. And then the final thing I'm going to do, it's a really fast, simple card today, is I'm just going to add a couple buttons on the side just to give it a little bit more texture because I like something besides just paper on my cards. So I have my Doodlebug buttons here, and these ones are in Ladybug Red. And I really like these ones with the ripples on them. So I'm going to take those out. Move my card over. I'm going to squish it here. that to the side and of course no card would be complete without some jute on it so I'm gonna cut some of this off and I'm not really gonna again I guess I'm being super lazy today I'm not gonna run it through all four holes I don't think you really need to um, I'm just gonna tie it go through two of them and tie it in the back cut off your tails as long as you want I'm just gonna set it to the side do our other one. There we go. And today, instead of my hot glue gun, because my hot glue gun decided to fail on me and die off because it was so old, I am going to actually use some glue dots. And I used to use this a lot before I decided to start using my hot glue gun. Um, these are nice because they are acid free, so especially when you're scrapbooking, it's nice to use with your photos. So I'm just going to put one on the back of my button and stick it onto the side of my chevron paper. And the last thing I'm going to do is there's a sentiment sticker back on our sheet of stickers that says, You are my sunshine. I thought that would go so well with our little wagon. So I wanted to put it on our card right here. That looks a good spot, maybe over here. I kind of like it right here. There we go. Super simple today and easy. And the best part is, is the Simple Stories line just makes it so easy to make these cards fast and quick and such cute layouts you can make too. So thanks everybody for joining me. I hope you get a chance to try out this new line. Thanks. Bye.